So before we start coding our game, we'll have to include some sprites. And what I just did here is that I created a 2D, um, 2D project for Unity. And I also included my Unity Visual Studio tools. If you don't use Visual Studio tools, then just ignore this folder here because it's not important to you. So we need to add the sprites. And the sprites that I'm using is from this page called um, gameart2d.com. And I just want to get this guy his credit because he's creating a lot of amazing sprites, both free and paid. Um, and if you go to 2dgameart.com, you'll see on the freebies, they'll have some different sprite sheets and you'll have some different tile sets and um, a GUI uh, elements here. We will only be using a sprite sheet and a tile set and I'll be using the ninja here um, for this tutorial. Uh, I think you can use any of these. I'm not sure if they have all the same um, animations. So if you want to follow the tutorial like 100%, you will of course need to download the uh, one of the ninjas. Um, so I'll be downloading the ninja and I'll be using the uh, tile set here, the green one. Um, you can of course just download the Windsor or any of the others he has here. Um, it, it's totally up to you. But I'll be going with the green one. So when you have downloaded this, um, and of course I'll also put a link in the description below for this page. Uh, when you have downloaded this, you'll need to include it in your assets folder. Um, and I have, I think I've cut down in the sprites a little, so I'm not including every single tile that he has on the tile set. Um, but of course you can include every tile he has if, if that's what you want and you want to make a more advanced level. But I'll be including a few of the sprites so that um, we can create um, a very simple level. So to add the sprites, right click on your asset folder, click create and select a folder. And in here you'll call it sprites. So this folder here will contain every single sprite that we are going to use in our tutorial or in our game. And then you just simply take all the sprites from off screen here and you pull them into Unity. So now it's including all the sprites that I've cho chosen to add to this project here. So let's see. Yes. So when all the sprites has been added, if they're not already, you'll have to click on them and select the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI so that we can use them for sprites. If this is not selected, well, then it's not going to recognize it as a 2D sprite. But I actually think when you put up Unity as a 2D game, um, a 2D project, it will automatically put this texture type here and everything you import. If not, then you can also select more sprites like this by clicking the first one, holding shift down, then select everything, and then you can simply put them all to Sprite 2D and UI and click apply here to make sure that they're all um, all Sprite 2D and UI. Now it just re-imports them because I did that. So now you have all the sprites that you'll need to create uh, this game and follow this tutorial. And as you can see, I didn't include all the tiles here. I think he has way more tiles in the original uh, package. And the same goes for the objects here. Uh, I don't think I included every single object. Okay, so let's start setting up the rest of the project here. Um, we will need to create a new folder called animations. So right click on your asset folder, click create and select a new folder and call it animations. And this uh, folder here is going to contain every single animation for this character. So like run, idle, attack and so on is going to be placed inside this folder. Besides this, we will also create a new folder called controllers. And the controllers is what we use whenever we need the character to be animated. And I'll explain in depth later, but for now just right click on assets, click create and make a folder called uh, controllers. Right now in this tutorial, we'll only be using one sort of controller, but if you will add enemies or something else, you'll also have more controllers. That's why we're creating a specific folder for this to make it easier. Um, what else? We'll also need some scripts, of course. So right click on the asset folder, click create and select, C, uh, not CC app script, sorry, was too fast there because I was thinking about scripts. We'll have to create a script folder instead. So right click, create, select folder and write scripts. There we go. Okay. So now we have all our folders set and we'll need to add the player to the, to the game as well. So this is just, this video 
uh, in this video we're just setting up the project but we might as well just add the first um, first thing and that's the player so if we go to the sprite folder here and select the characters which I just called so you'll select the folder that you have all the um, the players animations inside so if we go down and find one called idle here you see there's one called idle from 0 through uh, to 9 here so all these fun uh, all these uh, sprites here will need to be an uh, added as a, a, a animation in our game so to do that you can select the first one called zero and then you hold shift down and click on the last one so you select every single one of them here when you've selected all of them we'll have to create an animation from these so the easiest way to do this is to take one like uh, hold down the mouse button and drag them into your scene like this into your hierarchy and this creates a as you can see an animation here and it's, it creates a controller and the animation is the animation clip that will make the character animate and the controller here is what controls the animation so we are going to use the controller later when we need him to go from idle into a run state for, for example so we need to do three things now we need to take the idle animation here and move it to the animations folder like this and we need to take the idle controller and move it into controllers folder like this so they're not mixed with our our sprites here I'm actually not sure if um, the package comes like this with different folders here but uh, if if it doesn't well then you can simply just add some extra um, subfolders to the sprites folder here to have more control over where all your sprites are you can of course also just have it in one big sprites folder um, but that's totally up to you okay so let's go to the animation first inside the animations we now have our idle and basically it shouldn't be called idle zero zero because that's that's the name of the first idle um, sprite here so click on it press f2 and call it idle so this is our idle animation now if we go to the controllers here we'll see that we also have an idle underscore underscore zero zero nine and we'll need we need to rename that one to press f2 um, player controller so this is going to be our controller that controls our player at all times so we'll not need more controllers um, yeah so in our scene we also have something called idle underscore underscore 99 and you'll notice that it has some different components on it it has a sprite renderer which um, shows the current sprite that is being shown which is number nine and underneath here it has something called an animator and an animator component it is what is used whenever we animate something in unity so as you can see here there's a slot called controller and this slot has a player controller on it now because we just renamed our controller to player controller and if i click here you'll see that it's actually referencing this controller we have here which means that whenever we need to change the player's animations we'll have to go through this controller and tell him when we click the space button, button we'll have to play this jump animation for example or the attack animation or whatever you want to put there so this is what the player consists of a position in the world a renderer so that we can see the sprite and an animator with a controller on it so that we can actually animate him so right now this is called idols 9 we don't want that we want it to be our player so press f2 and call it player so this is now our player you can also just write player up here so already when you play the game like this you'll notice that he actually starts idling if my computer would like to show it here we go so you can see the character is already idling in the animation because we just created our animation by dragging it into our scene and we just um, added the animation control and everything and we did it by itself and the animation control here drives our animation so if you want to see what goes on inside the animation controller you can go to window and you can find the window called animator not animation but animator here and click it as you can see here there is a 
uh, orange box here, which is the default animation. So the default animation, the one that starts by default when you click the play button, is always orange. And if I would click the player now, and make sure that I'm not maximizing on play, while I have the animator window selected, well, then you'll see that it cycles through this animation here all the time. So that's our um, player idle function here, or idle animation that plays out and restarts all the time. And the reason that it restarts is because inside animations we have this loop time selected. If I wouldn't have loop time selected and I would play now, it will simply just play it once. And then as you can see here, he stops idling after one play. But if we put loop time on, he keeps looping his pose. So before we end this part of the tutorial, we can simply just rename this idle here to uh, idle instead of idle 00. Just click on the idle, go up here in the inspector and just write idle. So now we have a character in our game. We have set up some one animation. Um, and in the next part of this tutorial, we are going to have a look at how we can move the character around and flip him as we press the different keys.